We paid five dollars for the small one. And this has a snake eating a scorpion. What? And it's six dollars. There's a big ass snake, dude. Eight dollar. Oh. Since we've arrived in Sim Reap, at first specifically because Ta wanted to tick Anchor Wat off her bucket list on her birthday. And since we started this series, we've shown you tons of adventure that you can do in the town and around the town, covering from jungle adventure, meeting the gibbons in their natural habitat, local way of life in remote countryside, farmland, stilt villages, fishermen, and amazing waterfalls, of course. We explore the most sacred temple in Cambodia and several more incredible places that exist. Now it comes to the last week in Sim Reap. We are pretty much chill and spend most of our time in the city center. We haven't really shown you guys this side of Sim Reap yet, so here it is. It actually worked. We drove right past the police, they looked at Ta, and she kept going and we were per perfectly fine. Yeah, they wanted to stop us and then they saw Todd's face and they just let us go, just right on through. So if you look Cambodian, you can probably get away with riding a 125cc without any worries. So far, so good. But we did arrive at the old market here, right by the riverside. This is the oldest market in Siem Reap, where we are right now. So it goes from like a souvenir shop and you walk directly into a food market. So it's kind of split between the two, the back half being food. I'm thoroughly impressed actually looking around. You're actually pretty safe in here. They have CCTV like all over this old market. So that's good for the vendors. It's good for the people walking around. The most I've ever seen it is in South Korea. I don't think it's that big, but it's big. How much is that? 15? 15 dollars? How much you want? Can I touch it? Can I touch? I just want to feel it. This place is full of Louis Vuitton. Just went to the bathroom and they have the sign say Cambodian 500, foreigner 500. <laughs> to show fair. that it's like fair, fair mm -hmm. price. They literally have knockoff everything. Handbags, backpacks, shoes, purses, wallets. Wanna go this way? Socks, underwear, they knock off Calvin Klein underwear. They got everything. Oh. I like it. This one? Yeah, thank you. No one me? No, um, it's too colorful for me. <laughs> I love the window in Cambodia. It's not like hassling and like putchy. They're very relaxed. They're very relaxed and calm and gentle and like Sure. They want to say one or not. They, they're so sure. They don't feel like, oh, how about this? How about that? They're like, up to you. If you want to try, I'll help you. Good try, and I will serve that. Just you, I'll help you. Hello. I will get the. I don't think it's banana. What is it inside? Inside banana. Oh, inside banana? I oh, see. Oh, you're right. You want to try that? It looks interesting. Sure. Like a snack. How much? Two thousand. How about we try one? Sure. Yeah, can I try one first? So it's basically a banana cooked over charcoal. Oh, this she is. Say that? She said inside is banana. Maybe it is inside. Uh, maybe Ooh. inside the rice. Oh, then it's something like in Thailand. We have this kind of snack as well. Really? Like sticky rice. Oh, I've never seen anything like this, but it looks that good. Is sticky rice. Did you find banana yet? Oh, that's banana. Mm. I absolutely love sticky rice. So this is phenomenal. The sticky rice has like a crispy outer layer. As soon as you break through that, it's like the sticky gooey added with like sticky soft banana. It's a phenomenal combination and a great afternoon snack or like an after dinner snack on your way home. And it's all for like 70 cents. No, oh, 50 cents. That's so creative. It is so creative and it's so good. I've never seen anything like that. It's really good. Perfect that they cook it with this leaf because then it stops it from like really burning. Yeah, right. But it makes it crispy. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
Oh, Todd, look at this. Oh, that's biscuit. Yeah. Hold it. Be careful. God damn it. That's got a snake in it. A snake eating a scorpion. This is real snake? Why they have the snake in it? I don't know. All the alcohol kills the poison, right? Wanna get it? If you want to get it. Get it for dad. For my dad? Yeah. My dad's never gonna drink that. Are you sure? It's gonna be so cool to put in your house though, like that. People are gonna be like, what the? What? You can take it out of the country, yeah? I'm gonna mail it. Back home. What about if they shake the box and... I can take this out of the country, right? Yeah. Like um, on a plane? Aeroplane, also, okay. On a plane, okay? Yeah. Take it on the plane, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a healthy benefit of this? No. No? Just alcohol? Yeah, alcohol. Just looks cool. I don't think I'm actually going to drink it, but I might just send it home like as like a souvenir. <laughs> it's like tuk tuk. So around here is like old traditional building which look really, really classic. There's tons of options, tons of different types of food that you can choose from around here. Most of them are all surrounding the old market. So there's old market in the center, and then around the outside is all different types of restaurants and cuisines. So I order what they call pla hok ling. Pla hok ling. They say they put the fermented fish and it comes with minced pork. So I kind of feel interested in trying. Does it mix with coconut milk too? And then we're trying that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It does. It looks like mush, like mutton. Oh. Oh. Is it good? This truly become my favorite. It tastes like cheddar, cheddar cheese combined with a little bit of salt and a little bit of fish sauce. That is exactly what it tastes like. So right now, currently, all the power is out in the section where we live. So we have no power, no AC, no internet, nothing at our apartment. And we had to come to, you know, a coffee shop, $4 for a cup of coffee, for a large, at least. But you get an amazing environment. shop after working and the power is still out so it seems that the power has been out now for about 13 oh, hours yeah 13 14 hours yeah um, I don't know I don't really have an answer for that just let's just go upsetting. inside and eat and then we leave again really literally all day Anyway, we're going to get into it. I'm really excited to see this and excited to share this with you on our This is Jimmy first time seeing the stage. Yeah, I've never seen a stage show other than like a high school stage show when I was in school, but a professional one. This is the first one. I know absolutely nothing about this. I did zero research, didn't even look up a picture of it online. I just, Ta said she wanted to go, so we went. My child. If you really want to know why I am smiling, please just follow me. When we came in the theater. But man is so stunning because like if you know anything if you know anything about Angkor at all, it used to be like one of the greatest civilization and the old capital of Khmer of the Cambodia and there's so many history behind that you probably heard about Angkor from Angkor Wat that is mainly of course Maybe 
while we were driving the scooter. Oh, when we were driving ATV. Yeah, that's it. Some people are so wealthy here. Yes, the gap. This house is huge. It's got like a huge fence around it. It's all concrete. It's insane. The gap is really high. This okay. one's got like Whoa. a wooden structured wall. This one is pretty cool looking though. I mean, it's really unique. I have never seen before. Although this one got a really thick. With big, giant big barbed concrete. wire across the top. doing coffee and cocktail stand sanding it a new fashion style guys it's just Taz got like 17 scarves wrapped around her neck in case they weigh our luggage so uh I kind of got to help her out and weigh a scarf or oh, wear a scarf they're good it's so quick it's the quickest Yet no, there's nobody leaving yes. Simreep. All right, so we're actually just got to the airport in Simreep, and we're about an hour and a half early, but we are headed out of here onto our next location. And if uh, if you know where we're going, please let us know in the comments below. So we'd love to see if you guys can guess where we're going. We're actually already been to this country, haven't been to this specific location. We are very excited to try this new place. Good evening. I have game for everyone. Huh? I have game for everyone to guess. Yeah. How many pieces of clothes I wear right now? So many. <laughs> On our way here, we got charged an extra eighty dollars for being overweight. Like our carry-on, our actual carry-on. So if you see, we've stepped up our game. We both have a single carry-on now. Uh, yeah, they were a little overweight. But our camera bags, I can't weigh those, but. The actual luggage is a little overweight. Yeah, this is it. Good. Keypad to the gate. 